JRPG! <laughs> when I was eight, I drew this comic about two girls kissing. Aww. <laughs> and my mom was outraged. Oh. And I thought it was because my art wasn't good enough, so I kept trying to draw girls kissing, and she sent me to therapy. And my therapist tried explaining homosexuality to me, and I didn't even know what that had to do with my art skills. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's funny. And it hurts. <laughs> it's really sweet, though, that you persisted and kept trying to make your artwork better. <laughs> Aww. What's up, my bearders and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash buy IRL, which is just, it's full of buy memes if you're new here. <laughs> and if you're not new here, you know how we typically take our videos. But due to some unfortunate circumstances, YouTube, we're going to have to be playing it extra super duper safe, apparently, because I swear too much. Because that's totally reasonable, YouTube. <laughs> and hey, before we get today's video started, I have something to ask all of you. All right. Who the absolute heck gave all of you permission to be so damn cute? I thought I'd be super silly in the last video, and at the very end of it, I sneaked in a tiny little secret message, and I was like, nah, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll hear from like one or two of you. Hundreds! Hundreds of you wrote what the secret message was in the comment section. I was blown away. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I mean, it still surprises me that any of you watch these videos, but I had no idea that literally hundreds of you would see that message and say, you know what, OT, worth the comment. Let's do it. Let's brighten this day. And it did. It really meant a lot. And I really appreciate all of you. So thanks for that. I love you all. But we have to be super careful and nerf anything that could possibly be a bad word so that we avoid this situation because I need to pay my rent. <laughs> Please be understanding that things might, I might not use any rude words this time. Remember last time when I said the word thorny? Can't do that this time. <laughs> All right, let's get started. It's important to be clear and realize that bisexual invisibility does not mean we can rob banks without risk. Hmm. <laughs> Demonetize for legal advice. <laughs> but, but I counter that with the presence of bisexuality visibility week does rather imply that there's a lot of bisexual invisibility week in which many crimes could be done. But, but don't do them. <laughs> but don't do crimes. Don't do them. I mean it. I mean it. Don't. <laughs> Put every gay person on an island and see how many generations come after. <laughs> Zero. Put you and a group of 100 women on an island, it'll be the same result. <laughs> oh, fatality. <laughs> I think it's this light ribbing that can help make the world better. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> see a hole, fill a hole. If you see a hole, fill a hole. Okay, listen, that, listen, as someone who worked at a grocery store stocking shelves, that, that's what this means. It means stock shelves. Stop. <laughs> mm. Who let all of you watch these videos, honestly? <laughs> Type I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to, and let predictive text finish the sentence. I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to people that don't want anything to do with me because I'm a dumb- No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. <laughs> I don't even know if I have predictive text turned on. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to her, and then I'm going on the video, lol, I don't think she can be in the video. <laughs> How do I get rid of this MF? All she does is be bisexual and cry, and eat hot chip, charge phone, lie, and bed. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Instead of having female and male versions of every armor set, games should have practical and sultry versions of each one. <laughs> I want to see ironclad girls and sultry boys fighting monsters side by side. <laughs> if anyone was unclear as to my stance on how I think characters should be armored, I am 100% in backing of this concept. I love this. I will invest. <laughs> hey, why are you in the closet? Because 
I don't want anyone to know that I'm boo-sexual. <laughs> oh no! No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why some girls won't date bisexual men. I love dating bisexual men because it means I am prettier than every girl and boy he knows in his life. Ha <laughs> ha! Twice the b to be better than. <laughs> this, this is the right attitude. I love that. Hello, my friend. <laughs> so, we have a proposition. <laughs> I think we could all say we want some more of this. <laughs> I squinted for a solid 30 seconds at the phrase soy bisexual, trying to figure out what this latest insult meant until I went a little further and I realized I was reading a tweet in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> Donde es la biblioteca? <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, you're gonna do what now? Oh, you? <laughs> I'm gonna peg you for that. Oh, no! <laughs> if I had to guess, I think this means, uh... Yeah, no, it'd be like if someone threw something at you, and it'd, like if they peg you in the head. Ah! Boof! <laughs> ah, I just got pegged. <laughs> in the head! <laughs> I'm bisexual, but I'm still not really sure, lol. Type, I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to, and let predictive text finish the sentence. Let's try it again! <laughs> I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to someone who doesn't want to talk to me. Damn, oh my gosh. We're doing it again. <laughs> I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to her, and then I'm not talking about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bully! What? Are you gay? Me! <gasps> Why? Are you interested? Oh! <laughs> There's an amazing quote by Stephen Fry. I don't know if you know this individual. Do you know Stephen Fry? You should. Where he says in school, when people would try to pick on him or beat him up, he'd be like, No, 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 don't touch me, I'm getting excited! <laughs> Modern problems require all of the solutions. <laughs> Y'all means all. Oh, <laughs> aggressively southern gay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As an aggressively gay southerner, I need this. Incredible conversation with my straight male friend. Uh, Lexi, I have a weird question for you. Mamau, what's up? You describe yourself as bisexual, right? Uh, sorry if that's not right, but there is a point to this. <laughs> yes, I do. And you also like frogs? Flippin' love frogs! Uh, okay, big question. Are those two things related? I see this come up so often, but honestly, I think every person should like frogs. Look at this! Look at it! How can you not love this frog? <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Listen, my tastes are very simple. I like women who look like they could beat me up or eviscerate me with their razor sharp wit. And I like men who look like they would emerge from the forest in a leaf crown and ask me to answer riddles three. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What is your quest? What is your name? What is the average wing speed of an unladen swallow? Very specific type indeed. <laughs> After a lot of rain here in Florida, these baby frogs appeared. They eerily all faced the same direction. <gasps> the ritual has begun! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear a joke? <laughs> Why are frogs so happy? Because they eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> what do you call a frog with no legs? Unhoppy. <laughs> hey, why do you feel na 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 last year? <laughs> uh, no reason. <laughs> okay, listen. I read the comments, and all of you have to stop, immediately stop teaching me things. <laughs> I now know that NNN stands for No Nonsense November. Y'all know too much. <laughs> Starting a rescue shelter for bisexual men who do not get enough love from society. It's called my house! Come on over. Today on Pink News, homophobes are more likely to be stupid according to science. Oh! <laughs> huh. My boyfriend is so loyal he doesn't watch any adult films with any girls in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hun. <laughs> the whole men and women can't be friends because of adult fun time thing makes absolutely no sense to me. Bi people have friends, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't have friends, but I know some other bi people who do. <laughs> Science! Bi people are very anxious. Everyone! Lamel, why? They literally have double their options! Oh my god! Also, everyone! Too gay! Not gay enough! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Shout out to, like, 14-year-old me who thought he was bi because he felt zero attraction to men and zero attraction to women and zero equals zero, which is equal attraction. Therefore, I was surely equally attracted to both men and women. Thus, bisexual. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Fun fact. Back in the olden days, the bisexual community welcomed asexuals for this exact reason. Aww. Bisexuals including asexuals in their community. I just think it's neat. I love seeing intercommunity solidarity. Y'all are the best. <laughs> I used to joke about being half gay, but now I've realized that being bi is being 100% straight. And also 100% gay. 200% sexuality. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sometimes he dates men. Sometimes he dates women. Sometimes he dates non-binary people. But guess what? He's still the bye-bye man. <laughs> I have zero recollection as to what this movie is or what it's about. The only thing I do remember is that I really, really enjoyed the review of it that happened over on YMS, Your Movie Sucks. If you haven't seen that YouTube channel, you should check it out. He's very funny. Every now and then I go back to watch his Cool Cat review. Amazing place to start. If you've never seen his content before, start on the Cool Cat review. <laughs> is Andrew Garfield actually gay or is he just like really, really extra about his allyship? A statement was released previously when asked about his sexuality, Garfield identified himself as heterosexual, but said that he has an openness to any impulses that may arise within me at any time. Aww. Mr. Garfield, what the heck does this mean? <laughs> Garfield straight until he's... Uh, we can't say that word. Can you not just say Garfield, please? <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> yeah, that, that, did, that did evoke big orange cat image in my brain. That's fair. <laughs> when you meet a European couple on vacation who wants to swing and you're like, huh, damn, maybe. I'm sorry, when did Tilda Swinton and the Hannibal <laughs> meet up and do a question session? What is, what, what, what is this? And yes, please, I mean, well, I meant I would listen. I would, I would listen to, Let's be real. <laughs> Mom, eat your food. It's not that hot. The food. Oh, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. Hello, Jack. What do you do? What's a Whoa! Whoa! Your hat flew off. <laughs> oh, 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 that was a lot of shin. Oh my jeez. Oh, oh. Pole <laughs> dancing is such good fitness. Oh my gosh. Women get mostly infertile at 40, but live to be 80. Without a family, what are you going to do with those 40 long, long years? I'm going to f*** everyone. That's what I'll do. Men, women, grandmas, grandpas, your wife, everyone. Going to f*** the whole world. Everyone except you. You can go and f*** yourself. Uh, <laughs> supreme justice. <laughs> Are you kidding? I mean, getting a cabin out in the middle of the woods and practicing magic and having a black cat as a companion or a familiar is completely valid and a great alternative to having kids. <laughs> I can't imagine being that weird. I remember this person from before. They tweeted something about Taylor Swift and it was really weird. Oh. Last year, a big group of girls in my class were all talking, and this one girl was like, I'm bisexual. And all the girls stopped and, like, stared at her. And then the girl goes, Don't worry, I'm only attracted to pretty girls. And I was like, Damn, did she just burn every girl in here? I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, people. We have the best color hex codes. Hash B O O B 69. Stop. Hash 420 A55. That says but. <laughs> Hash 042069. Oh, this is so silly. <laughs> Tell me, is that true? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what you looking at? Nothing. Oh, it's the popular high school love team. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, I see you've got a crush on him, too. <laughs> him? Uh, what? 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 Uh, what? 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 <laughs> Has anyone here ever dated Moon Knight? No. A little bit. No? <laughs> this is Moon Knight. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Spider-Man. <laughs> the best analogy for bisexuals I've ever heard. Werewolf. I'm a werewolf. Person. Okay, so when you're in human form, you're a human. And when you're in a wolf form, you're a wolf, though. Werewolf. Uh, no, I'm a werewolf. Human form equals werewolf. Wolf form equals werewolf. Always a werewolf, no matter the circumstances or appearance. I am always a werewolf. Fact. Bisexuals are also werewolves. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Hashtag can confirm. Oh, and the source is our favorite ghost. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna live a carefree life with a string of lovers. Jean-Jacques, Henri, Simone. Hmm. Hmm. The last one was the girl's name. <gasps> <laughs> okay. American Dad's funny sometimes. <laughs> Fun fact! Just because I'm bi doesn't mean I suddenly like people. I hate all of you equally. Oh, friend. <laughs> I stopped labeling my sexuality because everyone kind of bull. Down for men and women. Feathers! We got there in the end. <laughs> She's gonna end up as a lesbian. He's gonna end up gay! Bisexuality is not a midway point between heterosexual and homosexual. I could only date men for the rest of my life and still be bi. I'm not gonna end up anything other than bi. Good on you for saying that with your whole chest. Is he gonna use a hook? Or maybe a- No, don't hide your face. You're beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, could this- <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Being bisexual and having different feelings when you're attracted to guys than when you're attracted to girls is so hard to explain. Because being attracted to a guy is like- Ah! And being attracted to a girl is like- Ooh. But that doesn't make any sense to anyone but me! <laughs> I get it. <laughs> My sexuality is so real and valid. You are attracted to boys 90% and girls 10%? Still bisexual. You're attracted to girls 95% and 5% boys? Still bisexual. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I've read something similar to this previously, and it's always really stuck with me. And it's helped inform a lot of the conversations that I've had with people. That being bisexual doesn't mean that you're split down the middle exactly 50-50 with no preference. You can have a preference, and that's completely fine, and that's valid. It's okay to know who you are. And even though other people might be a little bit of a dingus about it, that's okay. You do you. You're awesome. <laughs> Standing in line at Chipotle in front of a pastor talking to his buddy. A butch employee is taking his orders. Pastor. Homosexuality is a mental illness and they will all regret their behavior when God condemns them to burn in hell. Me. Turning around. You worship a God that tortures mentally ill people? Ten seconds of silence. Pastor's friend! Hey, wait, what? that is actually a really good point! <laughs> Whether you believe bisexuality was inclusive of non-binary people in the 1960s, or whatever the latest debate is, the fact is that the bi community has spent the majority of the last decade trying to make it clear that bisexual means, or should mean, much more than just attraction to men and women. And there has been very, very little pushback from within the bi community. The general consensus is that the word bisexual should be infinitely broad and inclusive, no matter what the etymology root is. Bisexuals do not want bisexual to be limited. The only people desperately trying to reinforce the idea that bisexual means two genders are people who do not identify as bisexual. I read something some time ago that really helped inform my opinion of what bisexuality was, and that it was liking genders like and unlike your own. And that really stuck with me. And I wish more people had that as a jumping off point instead of some of the random threads I've seen on the internet. That's incredibly silly. I've been so appreciative that I've been able to learn so many things from all of you. From not just the posts that we read, but also the conversations that we've had when I'm on stream or on Twitter. I really hope you liked today's video. And if you did, hopefully it's monetized. <laughs> Alright, my beardos and weirdos. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. Press saying hi in the comments. I'll be down there. I read them for ages. <laughs> Alright. We'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! Okay, okay. How many of you stayed? How many of you stayed to this point in the video? How many of you are still here? Hard hands. <laughs> Alright, that's a secret message. And also, 
you get one additional secret reward for sticking around this long. And that... Little boop. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. 